Uh, but here we go. We just won with the Zoltan A. We got five in a row, right? Five in a row? So distracted by Star Wars talk. Why does Star Wars bashing always get me so distracted? All right, let's see what the next random ship is. Three, two, one, and random. We already did Stealth Sea, right? I think this is one of the first ones we did. Uh, yes, we did Stealth Sea. All right, three, two, one, no repeats. One, two, three, and random. Rock B, there's an interesting ship. All right, there's an interesting one. All right, um, heavy pierce, firebomb, no no doors. Do I have, I have people want to be rock borders. Neferon wanted to be any rock. So I'm going to have here, before anything happens, here you go, in and you're the pilot. You're the pilot. So no telling me I didn't name you. you, you you're a pilot. You're a great pilot, sir. Neferon wanted to be a rock. So let's see this person has N A E F A. R E N. And if they had made uh, Ray just like Luke, people would have said it was a repeat. Man, I wish it would have been a repeat of the original trilogy over what we got. <laughs> I would be so happy if that was what we got from the sequels instead of what we actually got. Do multiple explosive replicators stack? I think yes. I think if you have two... You have infinite missiles, I think. I don't hardly ever do it, but I think that's true. Oh man, okay. We have a very, we have an argument about what a Mary Sue even is in chat now, okay. Nice. <laughs> I'm not gonna get involved in that discussion. Hey, free engine hack and mind control. That basically has really OP Oh, okay. That was a bio swipe that guy just did. Really OP uh, systems on this guy. You don't think you can actually have multiple explosive replicators? Oh, that might be true. I don't remember. I don't play. I don't play ships with missiles and get replicators, so I don't know. <laughs> All right, I hope we don't die on this ship. Is there anything special I need to do early on this ship? We don't have doors, so I can't OMD. Can't obsessively man doors. We can crew kill. So I think this is a ship where we get early shields and then go for store to try to get better weapons, I think. One nebula doesn't get us anything, so... Uh, let's see. OMD, obsessively miss doors. Oh, I miss them so hard right now. <laughs> I miss my doors. Silly device does not approve of this ship. You are the pilot. Yeah, I got you first thing. Oh, God. Okay, well, at least this guy's weapons aren't amazing, but, uh, oh, Zoltan Shield ship. Okay, Sector 1 Zoltan Shield always sucks. Even if we had no doors, it wouldn't matter that much in a ship with no vents. Yeah, because it keeps them from walking around in your ship where you don't want them to. Not my shields. Oh, nice. Um, and it also is a system that's taking up system slots and stores that makes it harder to find the systems you actually want. So it'd be a huge deal if this ship had doors, I think. Well, at least a somewhat useful thing. have an F in the chat, maybe some solidarity from ASOIAF fans. Is that the, um... Sec. What is that book called? You're talking about the uh, name of the wind or whatever? Ugh. Like an NG. I'm not even gonna try. I don't want a chance damage here. Man, I have that book in on my bookshelf, and it's been years since I've read it. I remember kind of nothing about that, except that it was really good, the first one, and then I didn't really care for the second one that much. Don't dodge, thank you. Alright, I don't see a store. Let's go ahead and get the shield value. Sleeping Dragon, do you get, uh... 
Oh, that's Song of Ice and Fire. Okay. You get second shield first on this ship. Five, six. Seven, six, five. I need to be here in five, I guess. Second shield for Rockby, okay. Book three was at the editors over two years ago. Yikes. There's a, um... Oh, I didn't even see that. I didn't see that there was a jump there because the exit beak was covered. That's crazy. All right. Okay. There's a book called... What is it called? It's on Kindle... The author's name is Jonathan Renshaw. It's a really good, like, first hero's journey fantasy book or something. And, I, like, every couple of months I check if there's any new information on the next book. Like, one of those, potent, like, forever, forever being written, forever being edited books. So I, I feel the pain on some of those. Okay, um, he's got a rock, all right, I'm not going to try to, not going to try to burn out a rock crew. Uh, you are a love of books with all your, uh, fan years and thousands of words written and read in fan fiction, nice. Oh crap, the missile came back up. I probably take this missile, don't I? Yeah. Can I dodge it? Now, well, there's our second shield. I still don't see a store. Okay. Well, you are definitely very passionate about a Hikateris. Unsurprisingly, with what we know with how passionate you are about, you know, uh, that game that you love. I <laughs> can't even think of the name. I almost said Into the Breach. What's your favorite game that we played and now I can't remember the name of? Oh my gosh, my brain is broken. I'm afraid to even say it. Invisible Ink, that's the one. That's the one. It's not, I'm not afraid, I'm forgetful. My brain, my brain, man. I'm old, okay? I'm old, my brain doesn't work. Talking about Star Wars too much, I guess. Uh, do I want Distress Beacon with this ship? Is show them how to intimidate settlers with a firebomb a Distress Beacon? I can't remember. I can go one, two, three, four, five, six. So I guess I can go either way. My brain is in my brain is in is full of invisible ink. That's right. Wise man's fear was such a brick, and it left you so disappointed about being a rock engine guy. There's a lot of chat going on. Oh, uh, sure. Yeah, yeah. Chat is kind of going crazy right now. So, uh, rock engine. What? Okay. Okay. Wolf. Try okay. Uh, confirmation bias. Remembering the bad stuff. Remember the good stuff. Thank you for reminding me. Past Rand. Your turn again. Just like when I was playing grounded, as a, a small vile part of you wants the streak ends, so I'll go play another game. But most of you are still rooting for me, though. Oh, I'm not gonna play another game if the streak ends. So, I care about this store. I'm committed to making this streak happen. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, I can sell my rock plating and firebomb for something, I guess. Aragon is another fascinating study in the balance of Mary Sudam, especially since it was so closely based on Luke and Star Wars, but with dragons. Oh, I didn't realize that about that. I read... I think the first three or four of those, or how many there are, I think there was, original, was originally a trilogy. Okay, do we sell Firebomb for an Ion Stunner? Actually, I guess I don't have to sell it, I can just buy the Ion Stunner. Speaking of Grounded, they add, they're adding a new boss. Really nice. There's a teleporter. Mm. Firebomb, Fire Meme. There's no third book. There's a deluxe hardcover anniversary edition of Name of the Wind. That's how you keep making money. <laughs> yeah. First Aragon book is basically the original Star Wars. That's probably why I enjoyed it. Iron Stunner plus Firebomb is good for crew killing, huh? 
Yeah, I guess we don't go teleporter. I was thinking about it. But, uh... Start with this. And if we can crew kill with this build, we'll do what we can. One, two, three. Uh, Aragon gets a lot more Mary Sueish in later books, huh? Someone is remaking Aragon HBO, you think? And it looks promising. Okay. Ha! There it is! Show them how to... Okay. Oh, wait. No, this isn't... This isn't show them how to intimidate settlers. Are there two firebomb blue options? Oh, my gosh. Okay. How lucky, man. War Crimes Unlimited. Let's go. It costs two firebombs, though. Appears you have not set up a teleporter disruption... Hey, they haven't set up a teleporter disruption field yet. You deposit one bomb in field depot and another in the barracks. And his comm channel is filled with panic chatter. You watch a number of structures go up in flames. Most of their ships and forces focus on the chaos who slip undetected nearby depot. Wow, I, I never get that quest and have a firebomb for it. That's crazy. <laughs> Beautiful. Wasn't there already an Aragon movie? Was there, huh? Hollow might well go TP there, but you're not sure how he'd evaluate the weapon. Stunner is fine indeed. Yeah, I feel like teleporter would have been a fine choice, but I I prefer to do that when I like don't have any weapon choices myself. Cause I'm not as good at boarding as Hollow. We Dresden now. What does that mean? Harry Dresden from the Jim Butcher books? Speaking of books. Alright, we can crew kill this. And I could probably crew kill this with uh, maybe the not even using firebombs here. Or using very few firebombs. So they never board a second guy. Okay. We just need to get him to 60, and one firebomb will kill him. Oh, Dresden is in... The bombing of Dresden. Oh, yikes. That's much darker than what I was thinking about. Okay. I should have done that for Oh, wait. It doesn't do 60 damage. What was I thinking? Just 30 and fires. Okay. My bad. Breach bomb this? Does, does anything do 60 crew damage? No, 30 is two shots worth. Okay. I'm just... My brain is just fried today. All right, let's uh, kill you. Hey, tip. Critically injure, but don't kill the first guy. He TPs back. Next guy comes over. Kill them. Easy finish. Okay. I thought that was only with three-person boarding. That's with any boarding, I guess? Okay. Breach bomb is 45 crew damage. Breach missile is 60. Okay. Thirty-three scrap. Let me get one power, and now we're gonna save for systems next. I think systems or weapon upgrade. We're gonna need an offensive upgrade. Apart from my own stunner. Sending the first border back actually works best versus two crew. Okay, good to know. This guy cannot damage us. <sighs> Firebombing this guy though. How do I crew kill this? O2 crew kill. Hit O2 because of Mantis. Okay. So he's the one who goes to repair. Beautiful. Okay. Simple enough. Good dodges. He only board twice. It saves a lot of HP when they have more crew to kill. So he never fixes the breach in time. So I assume when the rock goes in there, do I need to shoot it again or not? Do I just, just wait? Strategizing crew kills on the ship is so much of its charm. Wait until he fixes, then shoot it again. Okay. This is good practice. For me, since I don't do this a lot. Or haven't done it enough to know the strategies just offhand. There we go. Then we just wait. Beautiful. Nice. Yeah, getting some Dumbledore training in the meantime. The Breach draining the O2, they might not even get that. Yeah, they barely got it. I probably should have, before I did this, did crew killing. 
or, uh, training. Max out my training. Oh well. Fine. We'll probably get another ship to train. If not, it's not the end of the world. Getting some good training right now anyway. I guess I can get weapon training here. Should have done that. Do, 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 do. Shaking your head, not using the fire beam. Unfollowed, un... I don't own a fire beam. You must mean bomb. You must mean bomb. Oh, Intimidate Settlers is only fire beam. Is it? I thought it was fire bomb. Again, I don't, I don't, I can't remember these, uh, these blue options that I hardly ever get. Can't keep them straight. We don't even have protection from Rock Live Mine with this build, do we? You need missile for Rock Live Mine? Yeah, it's a really. I hate. This is my least favorite sector layout because it's. Multiple forced beacons. I hate this layout. Um, is that correct? We don't have protection from Rock Live Mine, correct? Because that's what? Um, a beam drone, a missile, or clone bay, or level 5 engines. <sighs> okay, well. Let's go with the nebula, I guess. New weapon, firebomb beam. Places firebombs in every room it hits. Ooh, sounds OP, man. This looks like a really good dive nebula. Although, not having long-range scanners means it might not be that good. Because let's get a bunch of empty jumps and run out of fuel. Okay. Fire Flak. It's just a Flak with 100% fire chance. I'm pretty sure we played, we've had modded versions of Flak with that. Good dodge. Going into Nebula reminds you, on your stream last night, you got one of the infamous Zero Store Nebulas. You did! Oh, I think you talked about that yesterday and you said you needed to check it, so I guess maybe you checked it. Fortunately, you were already in winning position and you made loads of scrap. Okay. Well, congrats on losing the lottery. <laughs> I mean, winning the lottery of crap. You win crap. Only one out of a thousand people get this crap, but I don't want the crap. Sorry, you want it. Eat it. All right, do I get a double reward? Damn. Do I go down to check that first door? No. No, I don't. All right, so we're now saving scrap for a store for better weapons, I think, or hacking. You ended up making about 500 scrap in that nebula, so the store wasn't, so no stores wasn't that bad. That's a pretty good deal, honestly. One fuel for 10 drone parts? I mean, one drone part for 10 fuel? Man, if I could get one fuel for 10 drone parts, that'd, that'd be the best deal ever. May I have three crew? Yeah, at least I didn't lose a jump. The spread on Uncharted Nebula is so crazy. You can make bank or go bankrupt. Yeah. All right. So one, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think we get at least eleven here. I'm just gonna commit to the dive now and go one, two, three, and just get like all the jumps. That also guarantees we'd steer our store unless it was in this sector or this jump or there's a no store nebula, but I'm gonna guess it's not a no store nebula. Can I explain why hacking stun is a noob trap? Sure. Um Usually when you're hacking, you're hacking I would say about eighty to ninety percent of the time time you're hacking your either shields or weapons. And when you're boarding, you're often also boarding in or around the room where you're hacking because 
The doors control where their enemy can crew crew can go, which gives you an advantage of outnumbering enemies. Like you can have, you can lock down a shield room where they have one crew board in there, and you have two v one until they get through the doors. And if you have hacking stun, if you use your hacking while you're fighting in there, your own crew gets stunned. So it actively negates your advantage of having two v one. So the advantage you have of controlling doors of hacking is kind of negated by the hacking stun. Oh man. Uh, okay, we can get through. This guy can't damage us though. Okay, I'm going to train on this ship. It's not a great training ship, but it's. That means I can't get shield training. I think the dodge training will be worth it though. Uh, that's dumb, yeah. You keep track of your sectors and you consistently get really high scrap. Nebula sectors, you have no idea why, but on your internal sector tracking, it's in the top five. Wow. Hacking stun is new trap, noob trap, because noobs board and hack and walk into the hack room and instantly stun themselves. <laughs> George R. R. Martin is working on a new Game of Thrones prequel. He's writing, producing. This guy refused to finish his books. We get got that fatty HBO check. He was like, I ain't finishing crap. I'm going to Vegas. <laughs> All right, well, training's done. George R. R. Martin, man. So many reasons that I don't like that author. <laughs> so many reasons. Kind of glad that I hate his books, because now I don't ever have to worry about being sad that he's not finishing anything. Fairness, you two would have a hard time caring about finishing the books after seeing what the show did with the ending. Really? I feel like that would want to inspire me to fix it. Like, if somebody took my story and ruined it, I don't know about no longer being motivated. I'd want to freaking fix that crap. But I feel like George R. 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 Martin has a hard time with it. Uh, motivation or something. And he's only motivated by all those checks he's getting from HBO. You think he's privately decided he just doesn't want to finish the Mage series, just running out the clock? He could just give the notes to Sanderson, a.k.a. the closer. <laughs> Man, maybe I actually would like George R.R. R. Martin books if Brandon Sanderson wrote them. <laughs> I don't know, though. Would Sanderson write for George R.R. R. Martin when their writing styles feel like polar opposites? How much power do we have? Nine, so we'll have five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. You can't ruin what was never finished. There you go. Uh, I just need to kill the drone, not the weapon. Okay, that's fine. Wow. Okay. Well, there's a fire in this room that he shot. Crazy me that combat drone can start fires, honestly. This would be a shield training ship if I... Wasn't afraid of actually taking damage from this thing. God, come on, dodge something. Wait, I have no engines. Of course I can't dodge. Okay, we're good. Uh, does George R. R. Martin have a son? Maybe we get post-mortem books from unfinished drafts, like Tolkien. <laughs> George R. R. Martin has previously previously used the metaphor of writers being either architects, people who meticulously plan them out, or gardeners, people whose stories tend to grow more organically, and he's definitely the latter category. He's the laziest gardener I've ever seen then. His his gardens are all dead with his the amount of writing he does them. Holy wall of text, I know, right? He originally intended for there to be a five-year skip time after Storm of Swords. He scrapped that idea after about a year and a half, and I think that threw him off permanently. Okay. 
he boarding me? Yes, he is. He can't damage us. Where's he boarding? There, okay. All right, uh, so we crew kill this by letting this guy jump back. Don't finish him. There we go. Okay. And then we let him board a second time and kill that guy and then hit his clone bay. And then figure out where the other crew goes. I think. I don't need to heal though here. Hardly fair to call George R. R. Martin lazy since he's working on new projects. He's just not finishing the one that most people wanted to finish. It's frustrating, but not lazy. Well, okay, I guess I'm comparing him to the authors that are, like, the most ridiculous in the world and finishing things. Um, A.K.A. Brandon Sanderson and Stephen King. So I've seen, I've seen interviews between those different people talking about their writing styles. George R. R. Martin, like, how do you write so many books? He's just, I schedule it. I have my writing time and I schedule it. Okay, so... There, that is it. Okay, I wasn't sure. I think that's how we finish it. Martin is less of an author these days and more of a creative producer. And I mean, I, I'm lazy, so I'm not like blaming him for being lazy. If I wasn't so lazy, I would probably not be a streamer. I'd probably be grinding trying to make more singing stuff happen so i'm not i'm not completely dissing him for being lazy but i have a feeling he's an extremely extremely creative genius that has hard hard time with motivation that's that's what i gather from hearing interviews and seeing about his issues uh let's see here so we can at least get eight here eight seven six five four Two, one. Do I think I ever get nine going through all these? Maybe. Trouble with motivation is more fair than lazy. To me, they're kind of the same thing, honestly. Because it's it's really easy to not be lazy if you're motivated. If you're unmotivated, it's really easy to do something that's not what you want to get done. So those those things are kind of intertwined, at least for me. Motivation is the godfather of creativity or something. There's probably a saying in there, a quote somewhere. Star Wars, Martin, who haven't we bashed today yet? Sanderson. Brandon Sanderson. Love him. If if uh, Christian was here, he would bash him. Calling his writing, um, I think juvenile is the word he uses. Especially for his dialogue writing. Today's a chill stream. Yeah, we're not getting instantly killed all the time. Which might happen soon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think we might get that. Five, six, seven. Mm, maybe not. Let's let's not chance a double dive. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, dive. Let's do that. Don't forget politics. <laughs> please, please forget politics. How's the run? Well, we're in sector two and it's fine, but we are kind of needing an offensive upgrade from the store, I think. Uh, missile. Damn it, missile. Martin is a hack. There, I said it. <laughs> Thanks for joining in, Plunder Pig. I don't know if anybody here... Probably nobody here would agree with that. I don't like his writing, but I don't think he's a hack. I think he's a, quite a good writer and pretty amazing storyteller. I just hate the way he writes. <laughs> Uh, uh, more, more of the way he treats his characters and readers is what I don't like. And can I please not get dodged again? Okay, good. Um, it's not a 
great deal. Hack riders usually finish their work. <laughs> there you go. So he can't be a hack, because he will never finish it. Holy fr Okay, I said I need weapons. You know what's a good weapon? That's a good weapon. The last run, we got two free Flak 1s. This run, we got a free Burst Laser 2. Holy shnikes today is crazy. Holy shnikes. He loves icky boobs. He must be covered with cooties. So immature. He liked the writer Walter Moore's. Me has some really good maser pieces. Oh, masterpieces. Okay. What's better than a free flak? Um, well, I wouldn't say that's better, but that's that's on par. It's on par with the free flak. So I go ahead and do this, but you know what? I'm gonna greed. We definitely have the right to be greedy here after getting that for free. First laser two, flak one's more attractive cousin. Hey! You know, beauty is in the eye of beholder, and to me, flak is the most beautiful thing. Black, I love you. First laser two wishes it was as pretty as you. I know your nose is a little bent, but it adds character. That bent nose adds a beautiful character to your face. Whoops. Rand literally loves trash. You know it. <laughs> if it's coming out of a flack, yes, I do. Yes, I do. First laser gang versus flat gang. Gang. Flack just tries harder, which you appreciate. There you go. <laughs> First laser two has had it easy all its life, man. It's it's this it's the blonde girl who was pretty and was lead, head cheerleader and homecoming queen without even trying. Flack had to wear braces, had you know some bad surgeries they had to get through life. But uh, once the braces came off and they started working out, oh man, man, can't beat that, that slim down black one. I don't know. I don't know what I'm even talking about now. You don't know why you cannot resist beam weapons no matter how hard you try. Okay. Blacks would be probably very useful on the ship for disposing of the garbage considering they don't have any vents. <laughs> yeah. Albert beam would be good too. Oh, long range scanner as well. Um, let's see here. Hey, thank you for the gifted sub, Plunder Pig. Appreciate that. Flack has a nice personality and a big badonka donk. <laughs> Everything you need. <laughs> nice. All right, what are we doing here? Because I want this, I want this, I want this, and I want this. And I don't think I can get all of those. So, what do we get? Chain laser, huh? Excuse me. Flack is the character in a movie who's played by a stunningly beautiful actress who everyone tests is gorgeous because she's wearing glasses. Yes, she's, um, oh, what was that movie from the 90s with Freddie Prinze Jr.? Um, she's all that. It's that, go that girl who was also in the Kitty and the Pussycats or whatever, who is absolutely gorgeous. She wears glasses and overalls at the beginning of the movie. And then they give her a makeover, and she's gorgeous. Yes, that is Flack. Um, okay, let me focus here. Hacking, yes, we always do that. Rachel Lee Cook, that's the one. Shogi, I knew Shogi would know who I'm talking about. I think either Hacking plus Halberd or Hacking plus Backup. I think I skip Halberd Beam and go Long Range plus Backup Battery. Because... First laser two plus heavy pierce plus hacking is going to be really good. Do I sell the firebomb is the question. Beams, you get to make a cool shwoo sound every time you fire. <laughs> okay, this we definitely get. I don't even have to sell anything if I do this too. Yeah, I kind of like this. Although I don't have any drone parts. I don't have any drone parts. I think I want to sell something to be able to get first laser two plus heavy pierce online going into sector... Do I sell one of these weapons? Might as well keep the firebomb. Can get you more crew kills. I feel like I need to sell something, though. Ion Stunner can get me blue options. Although maybe the NG covers the Ion Stunner blue option. 
Uh, how much to get the next weapon power? It's 35, right? So I sell this plus 8 scrap and we can get first laser heavy pierce. Well, you can make an argument for any of this. I guess the argument that burst laser 2 plus high and center is, is plenty for phase th for sector 3. Yeah, that's probably true. Alright, let's not sell anything. Okay, this guy can't damage us. I love people who can't damage us. They're my favorite. What's another movie where there is a stunningly beautiful girl that everybody pretends is not pretty until they give her a makeup a makeover at the end of the movie? What's another example of that? Did that happen in Clueless? I don't know. All the movies I know about existed in the 90s. <laughs> Princess Diaries. Never saw that one. Oh, you think this is crew killable? Oh, well. Um, I don't... I don't. If I can't see their crew to know if there's, like, a rock or something or an NG to repair, I, I'm, I'm not even going to mess with it, I don't think. Anne Hathaway. The Breakfast Club, does that count? Maybe. I don't know that movie well enough to know if it counts. A little late here. Got there. Okay. Nice. Worth worth a drone part if we could stop the missile. They did that a bit with the goth girl in Clueless. Kind of what I was thinking of. Although I don't think I've ever even seen Clueless all the way through. What sector are we in? We're two going into three, I believe. So we are very far ahead of ahead of the curve right now. Alright, so what did I want to do? I wanted to get a weapon upgrade. It could almost be that. Alright, we're about to go into the dive. You know what? If we get any scrap, I might just get level 2 hacking, because that makes the dive safer. Okay, we didn't get scrap. So do I want anything for this dive, then? Probably just hack weapons, shoot weapons here. The Ugly Ducking story trope was popular in the 90s, though Rachel in She's All That was not hot, was hot before the makeover. True. Can you be the pilot room too? Sure. in and lives in the in and room. Although maybe this guy will be really weak and I don't even have to use a hacking drone? No, he's not weak. I'm gonna let that fire. Do that. Good dodge, man. Good dodge. If he leaves, does Inan become an Audi? Lol. I get it. Could have hacked that actually. Fine, we only need one shield. Let that fire. Hack that. All right, good dive. I could probably stick around and finish him, but no reason to do that for score farming. I did just get long-range scanners. Most of the women in those makeover stories are attractive beforehand as well because you effectively don't get to be a Hollywood actress without being conventionally attractive. Very true. Good news, Rand. Ship's ready and you think I'm going to enjoy the heck out of this one. Nice! I can't wait, RPG. I think I see your message with that scent. Uh, Zoltan Homeworlds. Do I think I deal with Zoltan Border Police with no doors and all these rock crew? Um... Unless you're typecast as the ugly one. You're, my Fair Lady Pygmalion is a classic ugly ducking on stage, I guess. That's true. True. Audrey Hepburn. In the movie, at least. Yeah, I think, I think screws out in Border Police. If I had, like, got mind control from that store, maybe. But I think the way we lose this run is going 
getting greedy and going into Zelden homeworlds and dying to Zelden border police. We might be able to handle them with all these rock crew, but... Yeah, we have extra fuel, we have long-range scanners. We could get a crap ton of scrap from this sector. Julie Andrews was the OG. Oh, really? Before the, my, the Audrey Hepburn one? I don't think I ever saw Julie Andrews in My Fair Lady. Maybe that was on stage then. A scrap ton of scrap, you say. That's right. Holy weapons, Batman. Okay. Uh, four Zoltans in your weapons room is one way to lose a run. Are you agree? What's up, Ridnoth? How was Julie Andrews not a big name? Maybe she wasn't a big name when that came out. Okay, all right. Not the worst. Um, I might hack this. I'm going to see what happens here before I hack. It's a little greedy. Okay. Oh, the double fire. This might be a crew kill. Now they want to run? Run before... Ah, oh, damn. I feel like they were close to running away. Um, okay, they're now in the heal bay. I don't think we get the crew kill now. Because the power backup battery shenanigans. Julie Andrews was already on Broadway as Eliza Doolittle. Ah, interesting. I didn't know she was the OG. You know what? I think I'm going to take this deal. That doubles my drone parts. Not that I need the fuel, but... I like the drone part deal. Uh, you random Mantis B yesterday. First fight was basic laser, small bomb, combat drone, three crew, and a med bay. After watching Randy, decided not to board. <laughs> I hope you lived then. Basic laser, small bomb, combat drone, three crew, and a med bay. Whew. What a rough first jump. Oh, look at all those ship fights, though. All right, I could do the weapon upgrade, but do I greed for the store? I feel like I could do this and still kind of greed for the store. They were also running away and doubling the fleet thing there. Trust and greed. Now nah, do the weapon upgrade. Hmm. The thing about the weapon upgrade is I don't know how big of an upgrade it is. Lion Center gets rid of one shield, so Burst Laser can get two shots through two shields. Burst Laser plus Heavy Pierce through two shields gets at most one Burst Laser and one Heavy Pierce through. So it's slightly better. Slightly better. I don't know that it's enough better to like lose the chance at a flak from a store. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna greet it. And this guy's weapons are crap and only has one shield, which is great. Uh, I might be able to crew kill this. Weapon upgrade lets us swap to firebomb after first volley and still suppress weapons. Interesting. For I guess for crew killing. Again, crew killing in a nebula. Ugh, I just, I'm not a big fan of not being able to see and trying to make a crew kill happen. I guess I'm not running out of missiles anytime soon, though. Move my power, but we are maxed out on piloting, so it's fine. 19 scrap and a drone part's a very good reward. Who kills a nebula are a good indicator of experience. <laughs> are you trying to guilt me into saying you're not an experienced FTL player unless you know how to crew kill in a nebula? <laughs> Fun, I'm gonna upgrade my weapons and I'll show you how experienced I am. Go. Uh no, I'm still gonna greed. Still gonna greed. I gotta prove you wrong. 
Uh, sack of weapons. I think it's one of those things where I think both are viable. And I'm going full greed mode today. Damage missile. Even Hollow's always working on that. Yeah, watching enemy doors to know where the crew are and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's that's. I actually feel like I'm pretty good at that, but like, it's. It has to do with also the patience thing, and Hollow is way more patient than I am. What I need to work on is my patience, and I. I'm not patient enough to work on my patience right now, so. I'm too impatient to work on my patience. Oh, God. Uh, three shield ship sector two. Can I kill you? Ah, oh, frickin' hell. I need to work on my rage. True, true. Have I tried meditation? I actually have. I don't think I'm very good at it. Yeah, sector three, three shield ship. So if I hack his shields, if I hack his piloting, I can guarantee the ion, then one damage to shields. Uh, let's see. People are trying to make me into a monk, apparently. What do I want to hack? Because if I hack his shields, I ion stun, then hack, I still... Uh, there's a chance I get all three laser shots through. One damage to weapons makes the fight safe. We can guarantee that by hacking and piloting, right? Hacking piloting our engines. In case he runs, I would rather hack engines. So hack engines, shoot weapons. Uh. Oof, I almost timed that wrong. Well, he hasn't dodged anything yet. That's really good for us. And his weapons are immediately back online somehow. Alright, he must have an NG over there repairing. At least the mind control is good. It's not hitting the pilot. Weapons there. Yep. Delayed. That's why I didn't hack piloting so he wouldn't be stuck in the piloting. Although he must only have three crew because. Yeah, he's. Ooh. Somebody going to pilot? Somebody is going to pilot. There we go. Good fight. Good fight. Zero damage fight. FTL definitely rewards patience. The meta game, I suppose, is it gives you salt, and managing the salt gives you the win. Okay. Hack piloting and bomb them. Oh, that was an interesting idea. Imagine being a mild mannered. Slug shopkeeper trying to pedal your 45 scrap guns and you're always attacked by these crazy feds. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's see what's at the store. Let's see if I am rewarded by my greed. Or if there's nothing here and I just upgrade my weapons like I should have done earlier. It's mind control. There's a pre-igniter. Okay, it's interesting. Okay, I think we just buy mind control. Call it a day. Um, I could sell something to get a pre-igniter. How good is that? This run sucks. Could have had the trifecta. Fire beam, fire bomb, fire drone. Worst streamer ever. Okay. What's the free drone? I don't understand the question. Oh, defense drone. I was not even looking at drone control. I mean, 
Mm, five drone parts. Uh, yeah, pre-igniter, I agree, is bait. How close to that weapon upgrade? 35. I'm just going to get our anti-boarding protection for a little repair. I want a drone part. I do, but I don't want to spend scrap on it right now. Drone control when you already have hacking seems questionable. Yeah. Especially when I'm this low on drone parts. I just don't, just don't know about that. Alright, he has no heal bay. So... We let him run. And he will board us a second time. This also seems a little questionable because I'm letting them potentially do damage to us in the meantime. There's the boarding. I'm going to shoot his stuff again. NG border. Does that tell us that there is only one extra crew? Is this a two crew ship? Okay, somebody's going to go to piloting. Yeah, I'm watching them run around on the doors. I have no idea where they are right now. There's a fire there. Piloting is being repaired, I can see. Got it! Nice. Okay. Do they not board a second time if you kill the first boarder? Apparently. Uh, it might depend on the number of crew, but that's what I've been being told. That's what I've been being told? Yes. All right. So you're our new pilot, sir. Rewarded for buying mind control. Rewarded. How did the mind control reward us there? I don't know. Five drone parts hacking. Hey, let's live a little by drone control while at it too. Just make sure you run out of drone parts. If you hit shoot weapons at the same time, ion hit second, avoid holding damage. Uh, if they all hit, right, right, right. Having human and crew is quite important. Someone has to clean the toilets. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Poor human. We vent them and they send them and we send them to clean the toilets. All right. Uh, eight more scrap to get the weapon upgrade. They don't board a second time if you've killed someone. Maybe they do if they have lots and lots of crew, but you don't think so. Okay. Free crew. Free, free scrap is also good. Do I even go to this jump? Last run, we were so far ahead that I bought an early level 2 piloting for the manually search event. Do I have enough crew that I'd gamble one? No, losing an NG would not be worth Can't get the weapon if I do that. We vent them out the toilet after they're done cleaning it. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Poor humans. Poor humans. If only they didn't deserve it. All right, I'm going to get one more jump or a jump or two before I decide on do it. Don't want to do this. Manually search is only one of four events that can happen at that kind of beacon. Yeah. Uh, empty jumps are empty. Actually, I know that because I have long range scanners. What am I doing? Okay, half power. Still have 10 scrap. Not 10 scrap. 10 power and half power. 5 power. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Who will clean the human out of the toilet? Nobody will have to you, because he'll be vented. Hey! That's a great rock blue option right there, baby. Everything can board a second time, and even if you've killed someone, it just depends on their crew numbers. One of my passing. It's laser 2. Just have to do this. Good 
dodges for us. Now we're safe. I'm a little concerned about my drone part numbers, but apart from that, I'm feeling really good about this run. Washed and vented is the same thing, just through a different hole. <laughs> wow. Okay. Ooh. I mean, all, I'm all for the human venting, but don't you all think you're being a little bloodthirsty here? Do I do another dive? Man, I might. An extra ship fight for this dive. And my fuel is doing okay. If I get level 2 hacking, it's probably worth diving. Alright, let's, um... Oh man, I was gonna miss all the maneuver this, but... I'll still hack the weapons. Oh, rewarded for having mind control. By mind control, we got a slug. That's what you meant. Yes, yes, I can use my mind control uh, offensively now because we got that slug. That's right. That's what you meant by that. I didn't. I didn't understand when you said that earlier. Uh, good enough. There we go. Does that get him? Oh, it's going to be close. GG. I mean, crew kill. So, Snowy One, good luck. Thank you. Appreciate it. You've been diving on the regular. Spend the gain scrap on increased engines. Get your dodge up early. Just treat the humans like Vader treated Jar Jar. Uh, okay. <laughs> he sends him out the airlock. All right, nice. I'll watch that with sound later. Can you be the slug? The slug is already... Actually, yes, you can, because I... don't have anybody else who wanted to be a slug on YouTube. I think I got all my slug people in. Beautiful. Yes, you may be the slug. Sleeping dragon. Sorry, Grima. Sleeping Dragon beat you to it. All right. Um, is a Nebula dive worth one extra ship fight? I think the answer is yes. Can you be a rock man? Sure. Um, who's not renamed? I think we only have one rock man available. John over here. in Obi-Wan. A slug you may be, that's right. Yeah, I think I think we do the dive and I think we upgrade hacking. I kind of like that. And I might even get power for it, too. You would like to be the NG. Not the crew, the actual engine. Oh, the engine. Yes, sure. Totally the engine. Okay. Um, Do I fire before? If that's a Hermes, I don't think we fire before it, but I'm going to hack engines and fire weapons is what I'm going to do. Beautiful. And now we potentially crew kill again. Damn, he didn't stay in there. Man, this slug makes it so much more likely we can actually get the crew kill. Deleted. If that was three drone parts, I would have just uh I would have considered that deal. That should be the crew kill. Oh crap. If I had waited and shot him with my burst laser too, I think we got the crew kill. Whoopsie, I did too much full damage. Heavy Pierce, what are you doing piercing so hard? You just would notice the ship has no venting door. Yes, it's the only ship in the game that has no way to vent your ship. And it doesn't even have door control. So you got to spend 60 scrap to get doors if you want to have doors on this ship. How long will I stream today? Three more hours as usual? Yeah, it's a normal stream day. So until 5 or whenever we finish our third run... 
depending on hopefully we don't die. I'm going to do this. Because I want the engine for the dive and I want the power anyway. So let's go ahead and do that. And we're planning on hacking his weapons. I am low on drone parts. That is the one bad thing here. Firebombs are good for crew kills too. It's true. I could have just done that. Oh, double bombs. Yeah, I think I better hack double bombs. Yeah, that could spiral out of control really quickly. And we even Masalaman over it. That looks like double small bombs to me. Charge time. Okay, triple dodges. Okay. Now we don't need the shields, we just need... Okay, good dodges. If crew killing a dive ship did anything, I'd go harder on this, but it does nothing, so we'll just kill this guy to get his fuel. Kill this man and take his fuel. Every time I say masala, you think of chicken masala? <laughs> chicken tikka masala. It's the best maneuver to take out your enemy weapons. Throw chicken tikka masala at them. It's beautiful. They get so distracted they can't charge their weapons anymore. Unparalleled strategy. Poor Zoltan. Well, somebody called that. You had plans to play yourself, but you gotta watch Rand. Nice, nice. Less salty when you watch me play. Asteroid field, 11 scrap. Okay. I would like to not use hacking on every single fight, but I feel like until I get a better weapon than Heavy Pierce, we're a little, a little reliant on the hacking. Oh, gosh. Okay. Hey, it's not a fight. It's just a... I'll take that. It's just a free map. Thank you for the free map. Wow, our store locations, though. You just teleport delicious Indian dishes into their weapons room. Maybe they'll just give you all their stuff anyway. And then after they eat it, they'll be so busy on the toilet the rest of the day. <laughs> Nobody will man any of the systems. Perfect. Perfect, man. Or is that just me? Maybe that's just me. I don't know. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Man, these stores are not great here. Can I do anything with 11 scrap? Of course not. Why did I even check? I don't even know. All right, Zoltan. Shield, ship, only two crew. Just poison the food. Can't violate the Geneva Convention if they didn't sign it. Okay. <laughs> That is a three shield ship, so again, I'm relying on this. Ouch, that's a lot of fires. Oh my god, that's a lot of ridiculous fires. Help, help with the fires, man. Is that a heavy laser that caused all those fires, or what? I didn't, I didn't even see what hit me because I was so busy moving my power around. Freaking ship. Um, gives rebel ships curry. Rebel fleet delayed by seven jumps. <laughs> That's right. Oh, it was a chain laser that caused all those fires. Julian verse... You need to give your chain laser talking to. Stop causing fires on my ship. Rude. Give them curry so venting the ship could be a motivated act. There we go. Um. <laughs> Why is every ship Zoltan's ship? Because we're in Zoltan's sector. Why do they all have big giant missiles? They don't all have big giant missiles. Eh. I'm still in pain. 
Um. Oh god. Ah, oh, big giant missiles. I sure wish I had cloaking. Can't ever escape the police. Well, this isn't border police. This would be even worse if it's border police. Okay. they bombed it or something. Okay, fire there. Um, two kill here, maybe. Uh, with a firebomb there, uh, maybe is. Stop firing that now. There it is. Nice double reward. That was definitely worth the uh, crew kill. Ouch, big giant missile though. Ouch. Um, let's see. You're making too many bank heists. Now the police are here. Hmm. Gambling gets you into trouble. And also stealing from banks. That's really gets you into trouble. Okay. Uh, I feel like I'm being a little too flippant here. What do I need to do right now with my scrap? We're pretty far away from getting any store. Four jumps away is the closest store. We have to go through this jump twice to go to the store. Four, five, seven, eight, nine. It's not an eight, though. I have to go through the nebula. I think I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Through the ship fights to the store. A ship fight is not Zoltan Border Police, right? Or is Zoltan Border Police shown as a ship fight? I honestly can't remember. Weapons 5 drum burst laser heavy plus ion stunner. I'm a bit vulnerable against three shield bubbles. If I do that, I need power. I think I agree, though. Maybe with that, I don't have to hack their shields every time. Although, I feel like I need to be using hacking every fight with how strong these ships are. I think Border Police is a ship fight. Yeah, I think you're right, actually. Send them Tim Curry and their delayed five jumps because they're laughing their asses off. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. That is double burst laser, too. Okay. Okay, these frickin' weapons on these frickin' ships, man. And I have no drone parts left. Well, I have almost no drone parts. I guess I gotta buy drone parts at buy drone parts at the store. Just give the rebels some dooners and they'll be eternally grateful. What are dooners? D O with an umlaut on it, N E R S. Is that German for like donuts or something? It's a German kebab, okay. I know, 47 missiles, but two drone parts. And every ship, oh, frickin' hell, has Zolt, is frickin' missiles, man. I, I hate missiles so much. I really hate them. I really effing hate missiles. Those ions are enough to by themselves get through my shields with their first. Okay. Okay. Okay.
Double breach in their weapons. Ugh. I can double fire my shields. Alright, um, will they ever go in there? Once the fires are out, they will. Okay, so we let them in there. And we lock them in there. And then we... One, two, three. Man, he's dead. Uh, no. Okay. Ah, oh, that's level three clone bay. F you, FTL. Level three clone bay. Sure, sure. Level three clone bay. You're heading off for a while, sleeping dragon. Good luck with the rest of the runs in case you're not back before end of the stream. All right. Thank you, my friend. Appreciate your help. The name of the ship is Instigator. You wonder if there's an annoying bomber somewhere. Okay. Dooner is easily the best hangover food. Nice. You love Dooner. Cool, Calico Jack. It's enough to bring you out of lurking for the first time ever, it looks like. <laughs> uh, one, two. Six. How greedy are we getting here for the store? We need cloaking. We need to buy drone parts. One, two, three, four, five. That would be a dive. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five is the greediest we can get while not diving, I think. Dooner is love. Dooner is life. Okay. Well, this isn't Zoltan Border Police, but it's some other free borders, so it's great. Um... Um, this kind of sucks though, because I got to deal with three borders plus a missile. This missile is online. Nice, no weapons. I think we crew kill this now. Very nice. Fight in the fire room. Damn, they now left the room. Uh, okay. If they run back and forth, we let them in and lock them in. That's how we do this now. Okay. That should do it. Because then he gets to the piloting at low health when we finish him. Unless he just doesn't get through there. Perfect. Okay. One drone part left, man. Ugh. Dooner is a sandwich with meat. Mostly lamb, salad, salat. I don't know what salat, salat is. Tomato, onion, and tzatziki. Also common in a roll. All right. Ah, do I take the one more jump? I mean, what if we get like a free drone part, I guess? Or we get a free boarding. I don't know. Let's do it. You recently became interested in FTL again after consistently failing to beat it and giving up. You found my beginner's tips videos and won your first runs. Nice. Since then, you've watched a ton of my videos and caught a few of my streams. That's awesome. Salat equals lettuce. Okay, very cool. Please be stiff dough and not free borders. Damn it. Getting all the free borders, apparently. Oh, and they're double slugs, so I can't mind control them. What? What are double free slug borders doing in this event? Got all the effing dodges too. I have to use my last drone part. Slightly early. Okay. Ooh, boy, man. All right, we should be able to crew kill this, though. Oh, yeah, it's easy crew kill. All right. Disable the ship contact resource station. May I please have a double reward? <sighs> Did I not call free drone part? I freaking called it, man. I freaking called it. No, it wasn't free. We had to kill him for it. But, you know, right before a store, what a great reward that was. And we got two drone parts back, too. Oh, man, that was an amazing reward. 
Got a slug infestation. Don't worry. Rand brought plenty of salt. <laughs> I never leave home without my salt because it's stored inside my brain and then comes out my mouth. Technically, it was a free drone out of a free drone park. Oh, well, if we're going to get super te technical, it's a drone schematic, right? Woo! The drone schematic is what I think they call it. So, let's, let's, uh, um, well, technically, well, I'll go full, full, full on nerd mode. All right, what are we selling here? What are we selling? I think we sell the heavy pierce. Two power for two damage is not that good. We can buy two whole drone parts. No, 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 no. Sell the drone. Yes. What else do I want to do? We do this. This weapon system already feels a lot better. I do buy both of those. I'm not selling long range scanners. Uh, actually. <laughs> yeah. Actually. Um. I'm. Kind of thinking about getting my third shield right now. But we're getting close to cloaking, but we're going into Sector 5. I think I want to get third shield. Even though I don't have the power for it. Better weapon? Well, we just got a flak 1, so yes, we do have a way better weapon now. I guess the question is, do I sell or keep Firebomb? To, like get some power or something how often do I think this is still gonna give me crew kills if I'm disabling ships there's still a chance that we can get some crew kills from it I think I'm gonna hold on and not do anything else right now You're multitasking. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> Alright. Uh, please don't give me a map. Okay. I can sell a breach missile for a good amount of scrap. I'll take it. I've ever had a four-time burst laser two for pre-igniter game. Have I ever had that? I know I've had four times burst laser two. Have I ever had in vanilla with pre-igniter? I don't remember. Oh my gosh. Not dodging any of the missiles. Of course, his offensive drone blocks my shot. But I need to be very careful about this hack. Thankfully, it looks like it's only a level one hack here. Anybody that has a missile, I don't think I can conserve my drone parts and not hack. Please, may I not have freehold damage? No, sir, you may not. You must have freehold damage. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. May I have another? Some ships have sensors and some have slugs, a.k.a. Polish grandmas. What is this picture? UK, USA, Poland. <laughs> okay, nice. Freehold damage is my favorite. Yeah, because I don't have to pay for it. It's my favorite stream meme. Alright, do I dive for an extra ship fight? Not in a non-nebula. Pirate versus Zoltan. Well, never Zoltan, so I guess we're going pirate. Let's hope they're not all slug pirates with four shields. Sealing is bad, bad, Rand. Don't you know that? I do, but I also know that um, war crimes are the best, so... Wow, asteroid fields all around us. Okay. I need power for days right now. I'm solo on power. Two shields. Those weapons are pretty scary. And I don't have cloaking, so I'm going to hack his weapons. Actually, what I'm going to do... 
let him fire one, but not the other. Try to desync him. Okay, good. My main issue right now, apart from not having cloaking, that's the last system we want, is I'm really power hungry. Hungry for power. Because I don't have enough. We are starving children in Somalia when it comes to power. 33 scraps, a really nice reward though. Are we the bad guys? Always, always. It's never a war crime the first time. What about the 5,345th time like it is for, you know, us on this stream? All right, go from one asteroid to another. That is three asteroid fields. Holy pirate asteroid field sector, Batman. All right, I do want to go this nebula. That does give, give us an extra jump. Let's wait for our, uh, O2 to come up, then we'll take power out of O2. Put it in our shields and go this next jump. Uh, and while that's happening, you can heal. I got what I asked for. Not three, but two. I asked for not whole damage. And we received yes whole damage. Somalia is a really interesting uh, country in your opinion. Uh, I don't know anything about it other than... Apparently there's food shortages for starving children in Somalia and Japan or something. I don't know. All right, I think I'm going to hack piloting counter the mind control here. I'm a little late here. Okay, missile down. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, he just blocked that with a laser. All right. All right, well, his weapons are on fire, at least. Does have an NG repairing it. Freaking doges, man. Mang. Oh, I hacked, what, I hacked your engines, not your shields. Whoops. That was a bad hack. Uh, two drone parts. If those fuel and drone parts, I'd instantly take it. I think I still take two drone part deal, though. That's worth, like, 16 scrap right now, since I'm buying drone parts. Yeah, I'm gonna take it. Uh, your cat is watching now. Plus one viewer. <laughs> nice. A very American of me, yes. What what is very American of me? Um, venting humans or talking about Somalia not having enough food or is that is that American thing? I mean that's I am American and I've heard it so maybe it is American thing. Um, I couldn't buy cloaking at the store. What else could we do at the store? We could buy fuel and drone parts. Is that really what I want to do? Is go to a store to buy fuel and drone parts? It's not what I want to do, but is it what I should do? Clone Bay, no, that now is not the time to buy a Clone Bay when we're like really low on power, still only cloaking. Reigniter, Heavy Laser 2. We have that breach to sell, I completely forgot. Not knowing anything about any other country in the world. Oh, this is true. That is a very American thing. I mean, in my defense, I've never been to Somalia, but yeah. Yeah, I don't know much about it. Uh, Heavy Leader 2 is good. I think it's time to sell the Firebomb. Do we ever use that on the boss fight for some crew kills? Maybe. Firebomb is Ion Center actually would kind of be kind of crazily good on the boss fight to crew kill in the shield room. We don't find any other really good weapons. No, I think I'm going to hold on to this a bit longer. Is that another asteroid field? Okay, it's actually a pulsar, so eight, seven.
Wait, we're not the only country in the world? No, no, there's at least like five more countries. Yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. This guy can't damage us? Uh, with the bomb he can. And with the free hack on my end. Okay, killed the drone. I wish I had cloaking. I'm purposefully not using a drone part here. Conserve some drone parts since this is one of the weaker ships we've fought in a while. I wish I could deny the whole American not knowing about other countries thing, but it's it's kind of true. It's kind of true. There are Americans that do know a lot about other countries. I am not one of those, though. I know a little bit about some countries. I know next to nothing about Somalia. With this many missiles, we're definitely able to use the firebombs. True. I guess it's... it's. How often are we going to be in situations where I will feel safe using it? Once I get cloaking, I feel like there might be more situations where I feel more safe using it. I mentioned Japan. Well, it's not really much anything to do with starving kids. That is an American thing. Well, there's... I don't know if it's a joke... It's in a Weird Al song. It's a thing that parents... It's a joke about what parents say to their kids. The kids don't want to eat their dinner. And the parents say to the child, Eat up your food, because you know there's starving children in Japan who don't have anything. I mean, there's probably starving children in every country. But that's just, you know... Just a, a thing that is said. So that's, that's why I said that country. Well, law... Well, we are a big part of Europe. At least know that it's spo spelled Moldova. Okay. Then, in like 1944. Uh, Weird Al wrote his song probably in the 80s that mentions that. Six, five, four, three, two, one. It's in the song Eat It. Don't you know that th there are kids that are starving in Japan? Just eat it, eat it. Don't you tell me you're full? Just eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. Don't you make me repeat it. Three, four, five, six. Don't you know that other kids are starving in Japan? So eat it, eat it, eat it. Bum, ba, dum, bum, bum, ba, dum. Weird Al probably said it because it remind it rhymes with spam or something. <laughs> I don't remember exactly what it reminds rhyme, rhymes with, but I'm sure it's because it's a rhyme. So maybe parents don't say it, and only Weird Al says it in that one song. That is my reference to everything is a Weird Al song. Let's wait for the hack. Uh... Moldavia is the historical name. Oh, is that Somalia? I didn't know there was another name for it. Again, I know next to nothing about Somalia, so unsurprising that I <laughs> had no clue. Uh, don't want no Captain Crunch, don't want no Raisin Bran. Yeah, yeah, it rhymes with Raisin Bran. That's why I said Japan. There we go. <laughs> Don't you know that other kids are starving in Japan? Just eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. Okay, 113 scrap. One, two. Do I care about the quest more than finding another store? I've seen one store. So yes, I think I'd rather take a quest. Even though it's through two potentially empty jumps. It does, does take me to, through the nebula, which gives me that extra jump. Yeah, let's do it. It doesn't matter what you had for lunch. Just eat it. Eat it. Good old <laughs> Weird Al. Good old Weird Al. Oh, 
Rand, quick geography quiz. Oh, I missed something. Sorry. Uh, quick geography quiz. On what continent is Africa on? <laughs> all right, all right. That's a trick question. That's on another planet. It's totally a name of a place on Mars. Easy question. Easy. The continent, the country of Africa is on the continent of Antarctica on the planet of Mars. Easy. Easy. Only well, Sector 5. Plenty of time to shore up our offense and find cloaking. Yeah. Yeah. I want to save up for cloaking. That is my next goal. I'm a little, again, doing not great on power. Us not having doors, I think it's helping us have a higher chance of fighting a store with cloaking, though, right? Because it's the 10 system rule or 11 system rule or something. Oh, now I have to choose between quest and store, or I just go for a dive and commit to it. Mm, I don't have enough for cloaking. And I don't have anything to sell except Firebomb. I'm going to go the quest first, because quest could be a store, I think. The Rock Squad rolls into the room. The border's like, oh, oh crap, we shouldn't have done this. <laughs> That's right. I mean, you could say that Africa is part of Afro-Eurasia, if you count that as one continent. Yeah. Um, let's hack your weapons. You only have two shields. That was a lot of dodges. I'll fire that. Could you stop dodging everything, please? Okay. Have some dodges, please. We had one dodge, okay. Is this pilot there? No, it's not. Okay. I need to hit other rooms besides weapons, though, to keep him from going back into piloting. And he has clone base, so any crew we're killing is getting clones. That pulls pilot. Good. Drone part, but not fuel. Not taking it. Oh, uh, there's the running. Running away, eh? Okay, wow, we everybody on our ship took damage that fight. Okay, except for Wolf Tribe over here. Now what do we got here? 446 scrap. But I could easily sell a firebomb for cloaking. I don't want to do it. I would be diving in a there's no cloaking, then I would be diving without cloak. Let's just play it safe. I want to buy power right now, but I'm gonna I'm gonna get up to the cloaking level before I buy power. Oh, that's a great deal. Great deal. It's only three drone parts, but I'll take it. Oh, sun. So we saw three asteroid fields, a pulsar, and now a solar flare. This is a pirate sector full of hazards, man. What a crazy sector of hazards. What a crazy sector of dupes of hazards. All right, I'm going to try to not use hacking you. Just a little greedy, but I'm doing it. Nice. As long as we get any weapon down, we're good. Two fuel and a drone part. I do kind of need both those things. I think this might get us out before the solar flare comes up, too. Is that worth... That's, that is not a bad deal. Is there a chance at a double reward? I can't remember if this is a, like, we're saving somebody double reward. I think I am going to take that deal. Because of the chance to not take solar flare damage. Isn't it enough to be a sub to give others cookies? Uh, I think you have to be a mod to give others cookies. Because I didn't want everybody in the chat to give fractional cookies. Like, somebody in our chat used to do all the time. All these cookies in your local store still doesn't have the Oreo flavor. Oreos. 
Yikes. Un unlucky, man. Woo! There's some free power. Trade missiles for power? Yes, please. Oh, forced rock home worlds. And here I am with no crystal crew. I'm not going to get out before Flare. You take that back. I think you always do if you get an early surrender. Because your FTL drive ends up a lot faster. All right, if we want protection from Rock Live Mine, we need what? It has to be level 5 engines, right? It's the only thing we can get because we don't have Clone Bay. We don't have a missile. We don't have drone control and a beam drone. All right, so I have to do that. I don't want to spend my scrap on engines there because I'm trying to save up for cloaking. But I really don't want to lose crew to stupid Rock Live Mine. So what's up, silly hat man? Yes. Well, I just gave away 30 missiles, and I feel great about it. One gave me power and a repair. The other gave me scrap. Okay, what do we got? Please not cloak in a big giant missile. Okay, it's a small missile, but with cloaking. Um, and we hack the weapons. F you, FTL. You stupid mother... Okay. Freaking asteroid field just killing my drone parts for no damn reason. Good dodge, good dodge on that missile. Just wasting my drone part, man. Don't be wasting my drone part with your asteroid hitting my hacking drones. Freaking rude. Rocks do love their missiles, they do. You're about to ask if asteroids can hit hacking drones, actually. Yes, that answers that. Oh, yes, it can. And in the last, like, two weeks, it's done it, like, two times, which doesn't sound like a lot, but... With the randomness of where things appear and when things happen, it seems like it shouldn't happen that often. But yes, it absolutely can. Time to firebomb the rock man, yes. You like the music in this sector, it literally rocks. There you go. Darn, no reward there. Ugh. I hope my store is not there because it's inefficient to go there and I'd have to go through multiple solar flares. Ugh. I think I just hope that there's no store there and don't even check it. Oh, I could have upgraded something there. Big giant missile with freaking cloaking. Goddamn rock sectors. I can hate these sectors. Please don't be level 3 cloaking. It's a shitty game. Fucking level 3 cloaking, man. Yeah, we dodged at least. Cloak. Level 3 cloaking, big giant missiles, some of the most biggest BS in this game. Frickin' rock sectors. This is why we hate rock sectors. Bullshit ships like this. F your missiles. No, you don't get to put out the fire. Your rocks, you love fire. Don't you love it when your weapons are on fire because you love fire so much? I just want you to marry the fire because you love it so much. Hey, he's got value point and shields with three shields too. Okay. We are low on fuel, man. God, they're resisting all our shots, too. I was like, why is this fight taking so long? Oh, I can't do damage to them because rocks are stupid and overpowered. Not only do they get high-level cloaking, ridiculous amount of missile missiles, and high-level shields, they also get to just resist damage for some reason. Because rocks are not overpowered enough. 
Please die, sir. Uh, still waiting on Rand's Rock Homeworld's theme beatbox section <laughs> session. Trying to force a fire meme build. What ship is best for it? Fire meme build? Probably a ship with Zoltan Shield so that you're protected for the year it takes for your fire meme to kill auto scouts. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Uh, would make a great outro. Rock Homeworld's beatbox. Theme beatbox, huh? Alright, I'll have to, I'll have to consider that. Still no story. Uh, upgrade. I need power. Let's do just that for now, I guess. We always immediately sell rock hole plating because it never procs for us. No, it's not because it never procs. It's because it's 40 scrap. <sighs> I thought I saw a ship with no missile. Of course, of course they have a missile. They all have missiles. Good dodge. Mind control the pilot. Everything in weapons. Eh, except for black because of placement there. At least we got the cloaking offline with our flak. Okay, I think we shot down his missile with our flak, thank god. Oh god, don't repair the cloaking before our shot goes off, please. God damn it. Fucking missiles! Okay, good, his weapons are burned down. Thank god we got that free repair earlier. We'd be way worse on health if we hadn't got all these free repairs, I think. Oh, or that, or was it like free eight hole repair we got or something earlier? Everybody took damage from random shots. Except Wolf Tribe. How are they never hitting engines? Man, apparently they just, they respect our engines too much to shoot our engines or something. Like using drones for fire builds since it frees up the regular weapon slots for better support. Drones for fire builds. Wow, that just sounds terrible. <laughs> okay. So you you like using fire beam drone? Okay. All right. I think Rand said hack shields, mic control the pilot, shoot everything with weapons in his sleep. Yeah. Got a hack pilot, shoot the shield, mic control the weapons. I think I have that firebomb for rock homeworlds. Yeah, I know, so useful. Oh, they have systems, but none of the ones we want. Well, actually, I kind of want Clone Bay, but I don't think I spend scrap on it. I've seen one store. I think rock homeworlds is. Is rock homeworlds one to two, or is it only one? Um, and do I want to swap out an Ion Stunner for a Verse Laser 1? I don't love it. I honestly, if I don't see, uh, like, an A or S tier weapon, I think I'm going to keep this build. Because I feel like this is going to do some crazy crew kills on the boss. Firebomb still damages rock, even though the resulting fire doesn't do anything. Yes. Yes, but how do you get a, how do you get a rock down to that low health without killing their ship? And not using like 10 missiles. They just. Killing a rock with a firebomb sounds like a, an effort in futility or a exercise in patience testing. By destroying their O2. Yeah, it still takes a year, but yeah. Alright, so do I even want this quest? This is. This jump is empty. The next jump is a ship fight at a solar flare that gives us no rewards. And then it's a third jump that gives us a free hole repair and rock hole plating. So do I want two jumps that equate to a full hole repair and rock hole plating? Two jumps for 40 scrap and... Uh, okay, okay. Strong enough to destroy you. Oh my gosh, it was in this sector though. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Actually, hoping that would be a next sector. Well, okay then. 
Well, I guess the repair will be a next sector. If it if I go here and then here and then the repair ends up here and I have to dive for that, I'm gonna be so not happy. I did go down here to check for second store though, so oh, still have a chance for cloaking here. Admittedly, you don't actually deploy the fire drone most of the time, but you'd rather not use your drones. That you'd rather not use my drones than not use my weapons, especially on Angie's ship. There's our cloaking, beautiful. All right, that's all we can do here except like buy a fuel, unless we want to sell something. What's up? I'm the Derpy. You caught Rand live. You did. All right, so what we want to do here... Does he have a teleporter? Yes, that's annoying. We want to hack his weapons and hope the solar flare does not cause so many... F you know what? I could... I could hack his teleporter to keep his crew on his ship. So he's less likely to pull the pilot when the fire goes off. And then I cloak the missile, and I think he might leave earlier if I do that. Okay, yes. I am actually going to hack... His teleporter. Oh god, freaking cloaking and teleporter in his desk god. Oh god damn it, it doesn't work while we're cloaked! Okay, okay, thank god. I totally forgot about that stupid interaction. Please don't pull the pilot. All right, we're good, we're good. Wait, it delayed! No, the pilot left! Why did you leave? Why did you leave the piloting? Stay in piloting so you can leave this stupid event. Why is the pilot not in piloting? Go back. Go into piloting and leave, sir. This is a dumb event and I want it to end. Thank you. Okay. There. Quest marker next sector, good. You want to hack pilot without hacking so pilot can't leave his room. Um, I don't know that I agree with that. Because then if he ever gets out of the room, which he probably will as soon as the fire happens, then he's locked out of the piloting if we've used the hacking. I don't know. What was the interaction I forgot about that you missed? If you are cloaked and the enemy has boarded you and you hack their teleporter... Their teleporter will not allow them to teleport back to their ship while you're cloaked. So if you hack their teleporter while you're cloaked, they stay on your ship. Luckily, the cloak wore off before the tele the hack wore off, or else I would have just wasted my hack there. It's a really funky interaction that is really rare to deal with. Need to hack pilots so they can't leave. We want them to leave. Saying that is actually supposed what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to actually hack their piloting? Really? Okay, alright. Well, I guess if next time I get that event, which hopefully is never because I hate that event. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, well, maybe try the piloting hack. Maybe that's the thing. Maybe that is right. Uh, we're not going Zoltan. 10%. I've never hacked piloting on that event, so. Um, oh god, I gotta go through... Well, okay. Store with no scrap. I, I basically am full build. Hmm. Nebula jumps are in the middle of the sector, separated by everything except this and this. And I need to get the quest marker through this, too. What a weird layout. I guess I could go around this way, come back through, depending on how many jumps it takes. So just to lock the doors, you don't actually use the hack. Okay, so you're you're hacking their piloting to lock him in the piloting, not to actually hack their piloting. All right. So I get 15 jumps if I get through all the nebula beacons. Can I do that? Which would mean we get... 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. All right, so I can go straight across here. I only have 7 fuel. 5, 6, 7. I'll be in the nebula at 7, so if I get no fuel... 
What was the first ship today? Zoltan A, and it was one of the strongest ships we've ever had. Interesting weapon setup. Yeah, I'm kind of want to use this against the boss to see how effective it's going to be at crew killing, because I have a feeling it's going to be insanely good at crew killing. And I'm going to attempt to not use a drone part here. Really good dodge, just being my control pilot. It's fire strat, so it works well enough. Yeah, but I don't know if I've ever had Ion Center plus Firebomb on the boss, so... It's more of I want to see it in action than actually wondering if it's in it, if it's going to be good. I'm about 90% sure it's going to easily let us delete crew phase one. Oh, do I take full deal? If it was three, I would have taken it. It's my excuse for not taking it. Oh my god. Pull the pilot. Oh, I didn't. Oh, thank god. Okay. I maybe should have mind controlled the pilot there, but... Okay. Alright. 55 scrap. Way better. Fire stuns with rock crew. Fun times. Well, I don't have any way to get my rock crew over there, so it's not like I have a teleporter to do this. You ran out of fuel and it took six ways to get a chance to get some, so now we dive a bit. In your game are you talking about? Because that's not my game. <laughs> Yikes, that's a long, a lot of waiting. Oh, I need hack. I, need, I actually I kind of need a lot of scrap to make this happen. I need 165 plus power and level 3 hacking. I feel like we're actually pretty far behind in scrap right now. Or at least a little bit behind in scrap. Big giant missile, four shields. Now that can get us some scrap if we find a store to sell it. S store to sell it, and our one store is down there. Okay. All right. Well, the, that does let us plan out our route, I guess. I can skip the two empty nebula jumps. Damn, I, I might need to just go to the store. If only this connected over here. We haven't had an offensive upgrade in at least two sectors. Another two power weapon to replace firebomb after phase one. It might be nice. True. Black one burst later two is still pretty darn good. Uh, you mean going to the store to look for a weapon? How would we make this work? It'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We get 12 with the two nebula jumps. 10, 11, 12. Yeah. You think you would skip store, but you're also greedy? We still have a decent route going to the store. Actually, we don't even need to go through that, right? Well, I do need to go through that because it gets me there, so I might as well go through it now before the store. Uh, we know we have to deal with free borders there. Okay. That's going to be our last chance to sell the shield charge booster and potentially get a weapon. Kill your friends. It's all the new hotness, killing your friends. So we get a free flak from the last store. You can't get a free flak from any store. But we could buy a flak at a store. Unless there's a an event that gives you a flak and then as a quest reward also includes a store. Alright, no weapons. Can we get a free flak from the last run? What? Oh, there's all our fuel. Do I buy a crew? I don't think I want to buy a crew when I still need to get two weapon power and a lot of power. Six, seven, ten. Okay. 
Clear friends, the new hot single off Rand's latest album, Flack You FTL. <laughs> Get vented. Sounds like a great album. I'd listen to it. We did get two free flax last run, if that if you're asking a question. We did. Are you cloaking and running away? Okay, you're cloaking, but you're not running away. All right, it's fine, it's fine. Still annoying, but fine. Am I hacking? I'm hacking piloting. I don't get that many shots through here, so I'm gonna guarantee get his piling down so his next he can't dodge. Or wait for his cloaking to wear off. What happened to our engines? Why do I have level zero engines right now? He ion bombed them, didn't he? Damn, okay. Yes, I need to get. It's true, I do need to get uh, that on uh, level three, whatever. Ah, let's get cloaking down. Actually, I'm just gonna keep taking the missiles. We know I have a full repair coming up. So if we take some missiles, it's not the end of the world. I'm gonna cloak into this one. Ion on ion action right there. Got him. Okay. Couple missile hits, not the end of the world when we know we have a guaranteed full repair coming up in three jumps. Just get Sector 8 store. Just get it, so easy. Uh, how much do I want to bet on shield value point? Oh, what, on the enemy we just fought, or what? Alright, so weapon value. Our level 3 hacking. God, we can still run out of fuel. That store only had 3 freaking fuel, man. If they offer me any amount of fuel, I should take it. Uh, not quite timed perfectly. That's okay. Thankfully, he kept his halberd beam online, not his missile. Does he not swap it? He doesn't even swap it. Beautiful. No dodges for you. You automatically assumed a cloaked auto scout would pull some level nine B shield BS. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't be surprising. That's for sure. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna level three hack your piloting when you have no piloting left. Good play, me. I saw one scrap, and for a second there, I panicked, thinking I had one drone part left. May I please have some fuel? No, we have an empty station. This quest never gives us fuel, does it? We might be double dive, double diving to the boss depending on what this jump and this jump has. If neither of those jumps has fuel, I don't think we ever get fuel from a rock homeworld's quest turn in. This could be bad. It's only slug ships that are notorious for super high amounts of buffers. Sooner rather than later at least. Uh, I think Mantis bombers are fairly likely to, and maybe one other bomber ship. NG or something. Alright, rock plating and the hull repair. Not even scrap from that. That's... It's not the greatest reward from that quest. I probably shouldn't even shouldn't have even done it. Okay, alright. Offer me any amount of fuel, sir. You can live if you offer me any amount of fuel. Even one. I would like more than one, but I would take... I would take one. Mm. 
need to hit multiple rooms to pull the pilot too. Okay, good. Okay, fire pulls him. Good. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Thank God this guy doesn't have cloaking and running away. Okay. Should not pull their pilot anyways, anywhere, especially if I do some mind control shenanigans. Board me. Good. Level 3 piloting, because of course, why wouldn't he? Our DPS is quite low with this build. Another weapon to replace Firebomb for later phases would have been really nice. All right, we got any amount of fuel, though, so that's good. Looks like a very solid position this run. Yeah, except for our low DPS weapons. Crowlista, a new Prime. Thank you for the Prime sub. Welcome to the randoms, my friend. That's awesome. Appreciate that. Streamer luck. If I had real streamer luck, I'd have three flax this run. I only have one, so it's only fake streamer luck. Slug, slug unlock quest is pretty lame to start since you're accepting subpar surrenders. Yeah. yeah. I'd say probably Slug and Rock Home World quests are the worst ones. Not counting, you know, the empty jumps you have to look through for uh, uh, Zoltan Home World's quest. So got the heavy piercer that gets sold for the flak. I sold it for the flak. Running away. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shots. So if I hack piloting, free shield, we're guaranteed to get his piloting down, so I think I have to do that to make guarantee he doesn't run. At least he doesn't have cloaking. If the rock quest had an option, just kill them on the spot instead of fighting with Solar Flare, it'd be an okay event. Yeah. It'd be better for sure, I think. Rock Home World's quest is really bad. You switch to killing them in order to not waste even more jumps. Oh, you mean you kill them at the fight instead of at the quest where they offer you the start of the quest? You can say you can't kill them at the start of the quest, right? All right, well, we do get our weapon up at least. Interesting. At the solar flip flight, you just kill him. Yeah, I, that's something I should have considered. I was thinking of either turning it down or taking the quest. I decided to take it because I had lost a little bit of health. I thought maybe the repair would be worth it, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm out of fuel. I want to trade my fuel for drum parts. Okay, well, I have enough fuel to get here, so we get fuel or we're not diving. If we don't get fuel... We're double diving, so. So again, offer me any fuel, and he it'll say he's running, but he's only running because we don't have, uh, whatever. Ah, oh, no dodges. Oh, god damn it, he took out my fucking cloaking. And it's a goddamn breach. Fuck you, FTL. Excuse my language. Frickin' hell, man. Yes, any amount of fuel. F you, dude. God, he hit my engines, he hit my cloaking. I guess I should be happy he didn't hit my weapons. We're about to get the pre-repair, so it's not a big deal, but... <laughs> I say... I, I hate it when I save my cloaking for the missile, and then they have enough offense to still fucking kill my cloaking before I even have the ch chance to cloak the missile. God, that is annoying as freaking hell, man.
Do I like cloaking buffers? I mean, me too, but I've only now had the scrap to do it, so it's not like I could have done it earlier. Uh, unless I was going to not get my weapons online or something, which is, I guess, what I could have done. Actually, no, I could still have to dive here. Um, I like memes says, May I ask about your opinion on scrap recovery arm? You personally like to pick it up in your runs if you can get a pre-sector 5. You haven't really seen me getting it. Thanks for all the YouTube vids and streams. My pleasure. Um... Okay, well, we get crew, which is nice, but uh, we now have to dive to get out. The general consensus for Scrap Recovery Arm is it's a win more augment. If you get it for free and you don't need to sell it for something a lot better, like a weapon upgrade or a system, then sure, it's worth keeping. But usually it's better to sell because Scrap now is better than Scrap later because it takes a long time to make its value back. And it's almost never worth buying because of how expensive it is and how important it is. This is all hard mode we're talking about. If you're an easy or normal difficulty, you have so much scrap that sure, do it, buy it for sure. But um, in hard mode, it's usually very important to upgrade your ship early and scrap recovery arm is investing in later upgrades. You literally never buy it. Yes, semi the our scrap arm discussion again. We're playing a game where we literally do the same thing every time, so if you don't want to have these discussions, you probably shouldn't hang out in the streams like this. I don't know why you have to be so negative about any time somebody asks a question. It's a trap. There you go. Um, four shields. We have to kill this guy to get the fuel to get out. So, let's... let's Probably should have saved that for whatever it's called. My NG anti boarding party here. Ouch. Get an empty room at least. Okay, good. We should be able to get what we need to get out of this sector. I'm not putting it words in your mouth. I'm reading your tone. And you know what? I am kind of just tired of it. So if you want to hang out in my stream, you can send me a private message. I'm tired of the toxicity. I'm just really tired of the toxicity. Don't have doors. What happens if it runs away on this fight? Uh, we have to do another dive. All right, let's get out of here. Scrap cover room is great. It might be the only thing in the game more valuable than the chain laser. There you go. Okay, 31 scrap. Value points is all we really need. For hard win rate maximization, you should never buy a scrap recovery room. That's the general consensus, yes. The general consensus is it's usually not worth buying. It's rarely worth keeping when you get it for free. So, that's the general consensus on it. Um, one repair will be nice. You return an interesting time. Yes. Scrap recovery arm also rounds down. That's a good thing to mention. Yeah, for sure. A lot of boarding plus mind control ships, it seems like. Oh crap, I didn't do the... I messed that up. Okay. Rounding down is particularly relevant on hard because a medium scrap reward in sector 1 and 2 on hard is 12 to 19, so scrap recovery arm will only be plus 1 scrap. There you go.
Oh man, we almost have crew kill here. Uh, yeah, let's crew kill it. Although the mind control guy will run out. The other guy will die and then we can finish him. Nice. Oh, mind control guy doesn't even run out. He just stays there till his death. Yay for stupid humans. I love stupid humans. They're my favorite to vent. Uh, Britnoth calls it a win more augment. Yeah, that's what I called it earlier. You've never found scrap cover. I'm useful. It's too expensive. Long time ago, I used... To, I I, uh, I think way back when, I watched FTL all the time, and I watched Lethal Frag. And what he would always say was... What did he say? Something about the efficiency of it paying back for itself, which was like getting it before a certain sector. So I thought getting it that early was good, but... I don't even know if he still subscribes to that thought or not i don't know how, how much he hard no mo hard hard no pauses either so i watch a few weeks on youtube thought you'd actually check out live nice Carlista. glad to have you and i really appreciate the the sub as you as you came in nice way to join the stream in real life fire actually kills by asphyxiation before kills by actual burning so we're basically avenging the humans with a firebomb all right another reason to like firebomb i guess Get pre-igniter, double automated reloader, make chain good, easy peasy. And the FTL meta has evolved. I'm sure it has. Uh, but since I don't watch other streamers play FTL, even the OG streamer of FTL, Lethal Frag, I just don't watch people play FTL anymore. I don't I don't know what all the other people do. So. Um value points. What are the most important value points? Poking piloting, probably. And then do I want to get here early to start the fight early? You know what? I feel like that's a higher chance to get repair if I go one, two, fight, three, four. That's the fastest we can get to the repair anyway. It means I get potentially less value points. But if it gives us a chance to get a repair after an early phase of the boss, I think that's worth it. You're going to feel really vindicated if the meta in five years is all chain lasers all the time. Okay. Well, Virebomb might show its value here because we need a crew kill because this is not enough time. So. All right, I can see Stun Bomb plus Firebomb in action. Big surprise, it's badass. Okay. Big surprise, it rocks. Like rock music. All right, I need to stun bomb you in there. Or not stun bomb you, fire bomb you. Fire bomb here, there we go. I'll show you how much time we have, sir. Plenty of time. Everyone knows anti-biobeam is the real meta. <laughs> Weapon system is, uh, the Rebels are not sending their best, I'll say that, huh? Everyone knows Stun Bomb is real S tier, that's right. S tier, S for stun. <laughs> Alright, so I can get value point here. Um, you know what, let's get sensor value point before mind control, because I only really need that for phase three. Small Bomb, was that a five power weapon system? I don't know. Three power, I don't know. Something else back there? I don't know. Swag, sensors, or riot. Yeah, probably going to have to riot. Sorry to tell you. All right, phase one, hacking. If we get a bad hack, we now have the base to run back to. The real meta is don't buy any weapons unless it's a Vulcan. Cool. What's the hack? Battery hack. Great hack. Okay. Triple ion hit, man. I, I swear we get hit by triple ion every single time we. 
get to this phase. This is, okay, we had one dodge there. Don't have cloak up here. A lot of fires, bro. Okay. Wow. They are just melting. They are melting. Um, so is our cloaking system, though. I need to get rid of the beam, I think. Okay, beam down. Don't die, sir. Kill them. One guy in side room bug. One crew left. Perfect. All right. A little more damage taken than other crew kills, but fireball my own stunner. Some pretty good crew kills, man. That was pretty freaking good. Pretty good. Who knew that being set on fire hurt your health? Uh, everybody. I think everybody knew that. You just start a new run if you don't get Sector 1 Vulcan. <laughs> okay. Status. Shiznit's on fire, yo. This enemy ship is lit. Double resist on the halberd swipe. Did we really? Well, that's pretty awesome. I forgot. Hey, you know what? Maybe rock coal plating will be the best thing we got this run. Doubt it, but who knows? Maybe. Um, okay, so I cannot uh, open all my doors and turn on level 202 for the boarding drone. So boarding drone we need to just deal with. So I have two NGs and a rock to send to wherever he goes. Okay, let's get the mind control value. Could just firebomb drones? It's true. Hack shield, shoot shields, firebomb drones. I think you like to hack shield, shoot missiles. Uh, yeah, they'll kind of ignore if I shoot the shields, they'll ignore the... F it's only one crew. They'll ignore the drone firebomb. We can shoot shoot missiles with our second volley. And I need to not cloak the first missile volley. Okay. Without venting, fires on my own ship could run away fast. I mean, that's what the rocks are for, right? Four rocks and two NGs makes that a little less scary. I guess I can do this. We need to be careful about not losing crew to this. Ouch. Okay. Okay, missiles are down. Okay, taking some damage here. Don't want to don't want to kill his crew because we want him to have that one last crew for phase three. I right, need to finish this before. Okay, now this is fine. Okay. Missiles are down. Okay, all of his weapons are down actually. I hope that repair station's still up. We did take some pretty heavy damage there. Yikes, we got hurt by that drone phase, I think. You do shield hack, first laser two, flak at missiles, firebomb on drones. Interesting. Okay, repair is up. We're fine. We're fine. Repair is good. We don't have to do any, uh, whatchamacallit shenanigans, uh, abduction strats. So, repair station being up. Makes this a lot less scary. They can't start fires if you turn off oxygen, huh? Condition stable, but not great. Oh, it'll be great. Be perfectly fine with the repair station. We're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Nothing's on fire. This is fine. Dog sitting in a room drinking coffee. 
meme. Nobody pack. Nobody picnic. Don't have a picnic, anybody. Wow, that wasn't even a full repair. <laughs> I always forget. It's only 15? No, it's 10? 10, 10, 10 repair stations? I can't remember what it is. 10 repair, I guess. All right, so that's all our value points. Now, what's not great is Firebomb is the only weapon in the game that does nothing to Zoltan Shield. Is that correct? This is the only weapon in the game that does zero things to Zoltan Shield. So. Oh, well, okay. The only... Okay, Heal Bomb and Repair Bomb. Notwithstanding Heal Bomb and Repair Bomb. And Crystal Bomb. Okay, not the only one. Uh, one of many bombs. <laughs> uh, so... One of the only bombs that you actually have on your bar for the boss fight. I'm having to use a lot of qualifiers to make my statement not be rubbish. True, but Ion Stunner is actually pretty good, and the other weapons are not bad, since they charge fast, so... Alright, we just have to deal with uh, Mind Control. We don't have any borders to deal with. Cloak the... Cloak the first missile, cloak the overcharge. I'm going to cloak the second overcharge with the missile, I think. I think I've settled on that being my preferred playstyle when I have three shields. If I have four shields, I feel like cloaking the first missile is better. Three shields. We fight fires pretty well. Yeah, I think I'm going to tank the first missile. But don't auto fire the firebomb because we can use it as soon as we actually get the resultant shield whenever that happens. Two engines to repair double missile fires. Okay, single breach is not bad at all. There it is. Cloak with the missile. Perfect. Let's see if we can set that on fire. Perfect. No cloaking for this one. Oh, but the triple dodge, though. Get triple doge, man. Perfect timing. I don't know why I'm doing that. I just stun that. Alright, no more missiles. That should be GG. Purposefully not doing anything to this guy. Just letting him repair the shields and be... Stunned on shields so that the uh, thing doesn't get taken over. Alright, this looks like a run where we could finish him with fires. Who wants to finish him with fires? Me, I do. I want to finish him with fires. There we go. That'll do it. Fire kill, burn, baby, burn. <laughs> Mind control and heal bay. GG cookie time. Rock B as intended. Killing the enemy with a firebomb. <laughs> Insult energy injury, that's right. Pretty fun run, honestly. I feel like our scrap gains were a little low. You know what? I think I forgot to check my numbers on the last run that was super ridiculous. 5220. I forgot to look at this last time. This run... Was okay. That rock sector was the bad one. Is there a way to check previous runs on this? Can I, um... Because I wish... I, wanted, I wish that I hadn't missed looking at the last run. Don't think so? Okay. It was a 5,900 score last time, so it was probably... What I wanted to see was a Sector 1. I feel like the Sector 1 might have been a 200 scrap sector. Alright. Alright, my friends. Uh, that is two wins today. Looking really good. We have time for one more run. Thank you all for watching. Hope you're having a good time. Trying to keep positivity around here and reduce toxicity. I uh, hope you all are having a good time. When we come back, we'll do one more run and hopefully keep the streak alive. Y'all rock. See you in a bit, my friends.